she's been experiencing this particular hair loss for for years now, maybe about 20 years or longer. Um, and so she has two different types of hair loss that is taking place right now on her scalp. So the first one that she has um, that you can see in the picture, that's the back of her head. Um, and this alopecia areata that she's dealing with in the back right there. Um, and it's just like a band of hair loss that she has. Um, and it goes up into the sides a little bit as well. So now in the picture, it's, it's in this first image right here, it's even more bare than the picture allows. Um, but she did have a lot of hair loss in that back area of her scalp. Um, and alopecia areata is a type of hair loss that uh, is autoimmune related. So basically your immune system attacks um, the hair follicle and it causes you to sometimes get patchy hair loss or sometimes you might get this band of hair loss as well. Um, and that's what she's dealing with in the back, right? Now in the, the sides, these two images on the sides, that's more of the androgenetic alopecia that she's dealing with and that's more of a genetic predisposition that she's experiencing there. She is using um, the Neogenesis Hair Growth Serum. She's also using the Capulis to reduce inflammation because she has some inflammation of her scalp. She complains a lot about pain, um, itching as well. So the Capulis, the laser, um, is a device that you can use to help reduce inflammation and also um, uh, energize your hair follicles. And it works well in, in pairing with the Neogenesis Serum as well. Um, she's also using a couple of supplements. So she's using, um, all of these are from Ad Advanced Trichology. She's using um, the DHT blocker and she's also using the EFA Complete. And she's using a stem cell shampoo that's going to also help reduce DHT um, in the front and sides of her, of her hair. So that is what she's been using and she's been getting great results. Uh, this client is 56 years old. The terminal hairs are the healthiest strands of hairs on your head. Um, and, and when you're going through androgenetic alopecia, when you're experiencing androgenetic alopecia, what happens is that your terminal, more healthy hairs, they convert or they, they shrink in size and they become vellus like hair. So those are the thin, fine peach fuzz hairs that you could sometimes see. So that is what is, that is what's happening in this image. That's the side image of her hair and that shows a lot of vellus hair. Some of them you can't even see because they're very light and very thin, but that is what she's experiencing in that scope right there. In that awesome. scope image right there. And the Good. goal now, the goal here with these treatments that were recommended would, would be for her to start seeing more, more thicker strands of hair grow as the other strands shed. Um, the vellus strands shed, we would like to see more terminal growth in those areas. Or Good. another option is preventing some of those strands that have terminal hairs, you know, preventing those from turning into vellus hairs as well. So it's so all terminal about terminal hairs the can turn into vellus hairs? Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Because the good. terminal good. hairs are the healthy hairs. You see those thicker strands and over yeah. time they can, they, they shrink up and they'll turn into those thin, fine peach fuzz vellus hairs. The thing is, patience because i knew with hair it's gonna take time it's not gonna yeah exactly I, I there were two friends i hadn't seen mm -hmm. um one in fact she does hair and she said oh, oh. Your hair is getting thicker she mm. noticed i didn't say a word and if we're talking about the thickness of it like i see it coming in now mm -hmm. yeah right. especially yeah. like you said the temples mm -hmm. That's true. and it's been honestly a couple of months or a month or more that I haven't had to use the fiber builder to cover up anything. I'm not using it at all. So this case study number two was very impressed as well. And, I, and as well as myself, I was very impressed at how fast uh, she started seeing results. Now, I don't want people to be confused and think that, okay, you're going to start seeing everybody's you know case is going to be different. Mm -hmm. So these particular clients actually did start seeing results a lot sooner than I thought they would, right? So it's, this client in particular started getting a lot of results in the back of her head at the nape area where she had been dealing with alopecia areata, which um, also um, causes the hair follicles to, to grow hair kind of slow, very thin, very fine, and sometimes not at, not at all, right? Mm -hmm. So in her case, she had been dealing with this for about maybe 10 years or longer where there was just no growth in the back of her head. And since using the serum, she's noticed more growth in the back of her head now. Um, if we go to those those pictures where you see the scope photos, if you can go to the scope photos of her scalp, of the nape, so we can show those. 
Yeah, so here we go right here. So if you look at day 60, you can see how some of those hairs are darker and thicker now compared to mm. day zero. That is the growth that we've been able to see. So it's not just that the hair is growing back in thin, it's actually growing back in a lot fuller, a lot denser um, than she had before. If you notice, you could kind of count the amount of thicker hairs that she has on day 60 and compared to day zero, and you can see the difference. Day zero, she has a lot more of those vellus hairs, those fine, thin hairs, opposed to day 60, you can kind of see all those thicker, darker strands of hairs that are coming in. So that's basically the proof is basically in the pudding that the serum is definitely helping her. And as, as she puts it, she doesn't have a rat's tail ponytail anymore. She has a fuller ponytail. She calls her ponytail <laughs> <laughs> a rat's tail. So she says she no longer has a rat's tail ponytail. She has a fuller ponytail um, and she's been very happy. And we can go to her slide where she has uh, the images, where we have the images of her sides. Yes. So even on her sides, she's definitely seeing um, results there as well. Um, and she's not as self-conscious pulling her hair back because before she was very self-conscious about pulling her hair back into a ponytail because it was very thin in those areas in the temples. Now she can wear her hair back um, more confidently without feeling insecure about that. Yeah, so that's really helpful. Mean. It's been very helpful. And I'm very happy to be able to help them find something that really, you know, works for them where they see the results, where I'm not telling them that the hair is growing back, but they can actually see it for themselves. They can see it and they can feel it. Um, and that's important to me to be able to give that to clients.